Now to our top story. The Amherst Pelham Regional School District is making progress on plans for a new elementary school. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is live at the Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton with an update on the new Fort River School. This building hopefully replacing two aging elementary school buildings, both built around 50 years ago. The design team hopes this one stands for at least as long. The students of Wildwood and Fort River Elementary are getting a new home. It promises to be a state-of-the-art facility, members of the design team truly considering every detail as they bring two schools under one modern roof. So to think of the advances of the last 50 years uh, from acoustic privacy so people don't hear each other between classrooms, you know, airflow, ventilation, a comfort, uh, natural light coming in. I think it studied 18 different window arrangements to make sure you have the best natural light coming in but not too much where you get glare. Mm. The list of contributors to the project almost as long as the list of things to consider. Uh, my vantage point is different than the teacher's vantage point, which is different than the community manager and the parent. Uh, it's also different than the police and the fire and community responders. So mm -hmm. all of that's going into kind of a mix, and we're going to come up with the best recipe because we're getting the feedback from people who use the school differently. And a product of that community input, separated drop-off and pickup zones for buses and parents, and age-appropriate play areas for all students at the school. This three-story school building project proposed for the south end of the Fort River School here going to change the lives of families in this area. There's a lot of people in our community who play softball, ultimate soccer, mm -hmm. and so we know that it's a school, but after school, it's a community resource. The final design will be submitted to the state in January, followed by a town approval vote tentatively scheduled for May. If all goes according to plan, the new Fort River School will open its doors in 2026. One last thing to note about this extensive project, it's being designed as a net zero energy facility. Working for you live in the Hampshire County Bureau, Duncan McLean, 22 News.